I'm coming in loud and clear. Might hear me on the radio. Breaker, breaker, one nine. Anybody got their ears on? Hey guys, it's Eric here at Farpoint Farms in the beautiful mountains of North Carolina. Tonight, I've got an interesting video. It's not a CB related video. It's not a shortwave related video. It's a video on a tactic, a way of drawing people into certain radio stations that really no longer exists. On a recent visit to WTWW in Lebanon, Tennessee, I was talking with Ted Randall, who runs this humongous shortwave station there, and we were discussing why shortwave is fading away or radio stations in general having a difficult time holding audiences, and he was talking about how you could just have 5,000 of these single channel radios made up and you could hand them out. That would raise awareness of a radio station. And it rang a bell in my head because I remember having one or two, I think it was actually two or three, of these single channel radios. And now you might be getting the wrong idea, so I'm going to go ahead and show you because I actually was able to find one not too long ago. And that is this. You can see it is actually in the box. Bloomberg Radio, 1130 AM. And it says here, news that matters to you, right? Now, you can even see if I get it close there, it has a postage thing. This thing weighs maybe four ounces. But this was sent to somebody. So this was a campaign that Bloomberg Radio, which is based in New York, they, they were giving these radios out. And it only tunes to one station, and that is 1130 AM. What a great novelty way to go ahead and get somebody to listen to your radio station or maybe draw interest in, right? You have a radio station, but anytime you turn it on, or radio, and anytime you turn that radio on, it's only going to play the station they want you to hear. This is not the first time I've come across this. In fact, at the most recent ham fest I went to, here's a picture of it. There is a very, very old, very vintage Bakelite AM-only radio, but you can see it had numbers written on it is for a single station so this tech this idea this this i don't know what you want to call it gimmick has been around for quite a long time now myself growing up in the 80s i remember having a fm radio it looked like a miniature boom box little thing like this took one double a battery had a little antenna on it and it was 99.9 .9, which played like uh, adult contemporary music, which was not exactly what a 14-year-old or 15-year-old wants to listen to, but it was something that my mom or my dad had gotten for free, and they gave it to me to play with, and I tried my hardest to figure out how to get inside that thing. I took it apart. There's got to be a way to tune this thing, but I was not able to figure out a way to do it, so there was that. I was not able to do it, and I also remember having one for another AM station, and that was 1010 Winds. And we were living, I think, in upstate New York for a year with my uncle. And you could pick up New York City stations. And he had one of these 1010 Winds radios. So it was really kind of cool. Another AM radio that just played one station. And it had, it had a, a, a theme to it. Like the radio was shaped kind of like their emblem or something. But I can't remember what it was. If it was the New York skyline or something. Now here's what's weird about this. So this is, this is something that's been around for you know, a while. Obviously from, let's say, the 50s through... Uh, well, this was actually after the year 2000. So this has been around a long time. And I'll go ahead and open this up here. We'll get the camera closer and I'll show you what it looks like. We'll even turn it on. I'm a little far away from New York at this point in my life, but maybe we'll be able to pick up something on 1130. But what's weird is I went on the internet and looked up. I typed every different thing I could think of. Novelty radio, single station radio, and I typed in some of the big clear channel radio stations, radio after it. I was not able to find a single piece of information about this whole genre of radios. You can go on uh, eBay and search for novelty radios and it comes up with like burger radios or like milkshake radios or french fry radios, but you don't see radios like this. I was able to find one of these for sale on eBay if I typed in 1130 Bloomberg radio directly I came up with one that was like this in the box. So there probably are more on more channels, but I just don't know what to search for. So if you have an idea what the official wording is for a radio like this, I need to know. I want to know because I, I feel the sudden urge to collect a bunch of single station radios just to have as conversation pieces, just to have as a part of history. 
And back to where I began this conversation, talking with Ted Randall over at WTWW, we were talking about how you could do that. And I imagine there are probably companies uh, in Taiwan or China or Japan or wherever that are still uh, more than able to produce radios like this. And if you bought 5,000 or 10,000 or whatever amount, you could probably get them for pennies on the dollar and have them shipped here as giveaways. And so it really made me think, like I have thought over the years about trying to purchase a, a derelict or neglected AM station, where, uh, you know, a station that's not in a primary location, not an A-class station or what, I don't know how, how else to put it. I actually looked really hard at a station in uh, Georgia and, and it was a, a 15,000 watt station during the day, only 500 at night, but it was an AM station outside of Atlanta, not, not enough to cover Atlanta, but it was reasonably priced. I mean, you could buy a existing licensed radio station with the facility, with the tower, with everything for a reasonable price and get on the air. But how do you bring people back into AM radio? How do you bring people back into shortwave radio? And so I wonder if this is still a way that People could go about raising awareness if you mailed one of these to every household in your coverage area, which would probably be quite pricey, but would it be better than an advertising campaign? Would it be better than a billboard? Would it be something that because it is a piece of electronics, people would hang on to? I don't know, but I would love to hear your comments and your thoughts about that in the comment section below. Well, enough talk. Let's go ahead and open this little radio up. I'll show it to you. We'll put a battery in it and we'll see what we can see. All right, here it is. Bloomberg 1130 AM and it even has their return address, P.O. Box, Princeton, New Jersey. Bulk crate paid. So, I mean, they literally bought these. You can see the mailing sticker. I don't know if this was a mass mailing or something you would go on their on their website, which they, they this was offered in a time when the web existed and, and requested. I, I just don't know. But let's go ahead and open it up and we'll see what you get when you ask for a single station radio. I do want to point out that this radio was at a ham fest that I attended in Raleigh. And I had looked at it a few times and I actually took some pictures of it. And when I came around again, the guy said, man, just take it. No one's going to want this thing. Just take it. And so, uh, gracious, I wish I had gotten the guy's name. But uh, I'm very pleased that he was kind enough to give it to me. And uh, it's that kind of camaraderie in the ham and CB and radio arena that really makes it awesome. So you can see, I mean, it's in the era of, of uh, websites when this was given out. Bloomberg, the global information standard, right? Look at that. So I wonder, I'm sure that website still exists. Uh, I think the radio station, last time I checked, is still Bloomberg Radio. And it uh, looks like there was at some point Bloomberg uh, Cable or Bloomberg Television, but that I do not believe exists anymore. So, all right, and then we have the instructions for the actual radio here, and uh, and it's just talking about put your batteries in, and it even has a little warranty. So maybe that's a lead. I can Google Wood Associates and see if uh, if they're still around and if this is something they still do. Because like I said, I'd love to collect a bunch of these things, uh, and just just to have as conversation pieces. And then we'll go ahead and open this little booger up. And here it is. And it's actually not a very cheap feeling radio. It is substantial. It's heavy. It has a nice case. Um, it does have an earphone, but it also has a speaker. There is an off, on, and volume. And there is a little bit of a fine tuning. Because, you know, sometimes AM does have drift. But it's WBBR 1130, right? Made in China. All right, let's go ahead and open it up. Oh, no. I haven't even taken it out of the box, and here I go. I don't think this is going to work. Oh, that looks really bad. Let me pause the camera. I'll see if there's any saving it. You never know. Sometimes, sometimes that's not the end of the world that it looks like initially, but that does look like the end of the world. Well, give me a minute. All right, well, I've cleaned it up as best as I can. I put some batteries in there. Let's go ahead and close that up. And it's time for the moment of truth. Now, without any antenna, I don't know if we're going to pick up any stations, especially uh, this far from that station. I don't know that there's any 1130s anywhere nearby. But it is well after dark, so it's possible that we pick up a clear station that I'm not familiar with. <laughs> Holy cow, it actually does work.
but unfortunately no station to be heard. Well, I guess that is that. That wraps up this video, but I am super curious to hear your stories. This is a video that's like a call. I want to know, have you ever received one of these? Have you ever even heard of one of these? And if you have, did you find that you used it back in the day? Real curious to know about that. Anyway, thanks to all of you for being fans of the channel and following along with these very interesting videos that I have tried to come up with here in the last few months. I'll see you next time, my friends. Take care.